One of our first uh, commercial customers was actually HP Labs. Uh, they regularly sent a courier down between Palo Alto and Cupertino with a mag tape transferring data back and forth. So when we delivered a, you know, two routers with a 64 kilobit link between them, they thought that was absolutely fantastic. Basically we were sort of eliminating the, uh, the sneaker net style of communicating between machines. The original software at Stanford used some protocols called PUP from, from Xerox PARC and it was clear that IP was what we really wanted so I started putting IP support into that uh, software and then after we were uh, we had left Stanford we basically started asking what, what do the customers want they wanted to be able to build large, large scalable networks. We introduced our routing protocol. Um, we customers had computers that spoke not IP but other sort of protocols, and we figured out that we could we could rework the software so to support these multiple different languages as well as IP. So we could hook up a DeckNet computer. We could hook up a Apple. Uh, Xerox, um, uh, Xerox protocols as well as IP and run them across the network. iOS is a very simple piece of software for the engineers to do things with to extend and there's the wondering if because we kept it simple we were able to do all sorts of different things very quickly and respond very quickly. If we put in a, a lot of the safety stuff or the, the better programming practices, the better engineering practices rather, early on, uh, it might actually have slowed us down, would have, uh, would have slowed the growth. So what will our future customers, your future customers, want? They'll want more bandwidth, they'll want it everywhere, they'll want it to be always up, always available and they might be starting to expect it in all sorts of oddball places like, you know, out in the middle of the Nevada desert or something like that. Well, I'm here, why, why isn't there a network here? Uh, they'll expect all their, their stuff, their digital stuff to be on the network. With more bandwidth, it might be interesting things to do with virtual reality, if we can actually get things, you know, when you have enough bandwidth and processing speed so you can adapt as fast as the human mind can adapt then there might be some interesting things that can be done there. The world's changed more because of the network. The networks, a lot of the stuff in the network was, a lot of stuff was figured out fairly early, but it's figuring out how people use it, that's where it's really changed. Mm -hmm. the, basic, the basic protocols are the same ones from back in 1984.